stove's almost ready. It's on the floor still. <laughs> Look at that, flames. And we have a problem behind the stove, which will disappear by the time the next video is taken. But at least we don't have a socket behind the stove. We don't, we did. We had a socket behind the stove. Not one of our brighter things that we did. Okay, and we soon will have water coming out of the sink. No, but... No? We have the pieces to make it happen. <laughs> Whoa! Impressive! These Norwegian guys are tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have some big cracks in it. Jam rocks, rocks. Oh. oh, yeah, what we need we places to... Where's the lock? Wow. We spent this last uh, week, you know, like working hard, <laughs> cleaning and like fine little touches and everything. And then when we, when we move in, it was like, a, you know, it's, it was like a dream, you know. So it was about a, about a year ago. Um, the house had been partly completed before and um, we had to stop construction because we ran out of money. And it was a good thing though, because it gave the, the whole project and the whole movement that's happening time to grow. And when it grew, then when the time became right that the house needed to be finished, um, there was the people that we needed to actually finish the house. The Glenn and Adam were already here. Uh, they were the main characters. But then also we had lots of people that we had met that were able to help us, help us do that. Like Tom came into the kitchen, Matteo, we met Matteo. Matteo, but uh, I'm known as Matteo around here. <laughs> Just, I tried to keep to say Matteo to people, but they just answer Matteo, so it's not going to change, I think. I have to stick to Matteo. But I like it. I like Matteo. Lots of people um, became involved with the project, and then they were able to help build the house. And I think, that's, I think that's really important, though, because moving into the house now, it's, it's, about, it's about the whole movement of how it was created. And it was created by the people who were very inspired by the vision and that energy is actually in the house. Yeah, it's just a result of people coming together, working together successfully and creating something new. And the big house is just a result of that. And it's beautiful and totally reflects yeah, what is possible if, if we're able to do that. So when we had the party last night, a lot of the people that were there were people that helped create to create it. But also there were people there that are helping to create the whole movement in Portugal. So everybody came together in this space, and it was fantastic. And it was this combination of just being completely held by the space, but also the intention everyone had to really come together. And um, I don't think I'd been at a party where yeah, it was just so easy to be with everyone. <laughs> and it's just so much better than what I thought we were creating. Yeah? I mean, I was very... Um, very careful about what we did, you know, that everything had to be done well. So all the details wanted to do well but I was just looking at it as a lot of details done well but then when all the details came together it's just like so much more than, than I thought we were doing we were making But I think as we finished it and as we thought about doing the cel celebration, it became clear what the celebration was really about. So it, yeah, it was about finishing the big house and, and that was exciting. But it was really about a new phase that was actually opening up. So we were celebrating the past of all the people that had helped, but more importantly, we were celebrating the capacity that we now have in order to move forward. 
and then to bring all the people together that are very much a part of moving forward into that next phase was very powerful. <laughs> Walking in yesterday where um, so many people already gathered in this atmosphere where everything comes together, um, it's a manifestation of, um, of everything this project is about. <laughs> We want to toast is we want to toast Adam and Glenn because without them we would be standing in something very different. <laughs> so they did an amazing Hooray. job and it was a lot of stress. Adam and, and Glenn. So to Adam them. And Glenn. Adam and Glenn. Yeah. Yeah. I'd also like to toast uh, two other people especially. So uh, Mr. Robinson for the amazing staircase. And to uh, our project manager, who <laughs> helped the big picture all together, Cheers, uh, Cynthia. Cynthia. And of course, all the uh, dedicated volunteers and many of whom were yourselves. And to all the future volunteers that want to help do the next one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Start on Monday. <laughs>